Hello, this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're an OG, welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Um, yes, this video is actually going to be released pretty late today, uh, Friday. Um, I was a little behind on some things, but we're here. And yeah, I think the last episode we cleared out the undead from uh from red cliff and we managed to kill everybody as well so the next list last thing on our ta task list can we say that again slower the next thing on our task list is okay so we have to find valena in the castle it says um you told owen that you would try to find his daughter valena she served the Arlesa Isolde, and Owen has not heard from her since the trouble in Redcliffe started. Owen believes she is still in the castle. Um, so we need to do that. And we have this quest here, the Earl of Redcliffe, because our goal is to recruit um, the soldiers from Redcliffe. So Alistair thinks that you should seek the help of Arl, Eamon of Redcliffe, a highly respected noble has a great deal of influence in the lands meet you have traveled to red cliff only to discover the village is suffering nightly attacks from the walking dead okay so we've already taken care of that um and we need to meet bantigan because he has a way for us to get in to the castle um i will forewarn you it is storming outside so if you hear anything um that is what that is the thunder I keep forgetting you can't jump in this game. See? So I've got to kind of maneuver around. There we go. Also, I did some adjustments to the volume, so let me know if it's too loud. Okay. Actually, um, I'll be right back. I'm going to do some testing really quick. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We just took a quick second to check our volume levels and everything seems to be okay. All right, so let's speak to Bantigan here. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. Yeah. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan to enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here in the mill accessible only to my family. Um, why didn't you mention this before? I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. You did? And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Make us breath. I mean, that was awfully presumptuous of him to think that we would do that, but whatever. Tigan, thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde, you're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. Um, we will need more of an explanation than that, for sure. What? Uh, who is this woman, Tigan? How about this woman? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Burden me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. <clears throat> the me. dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tegan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. What about Arl Eamon? Is he still alive? He is. He is being kept alive so far. Thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor, and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. 
Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Tell me about the mage you mentioned. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loghains hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. Um... Why do I get the feeling that uh, you aren't telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? Yes, it's so a rather I said. impertinent accusation. Okay, um, not if it's true. <laughs> An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. I came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? Okay, um, do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? It could be. I, I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tegan. Please. Tegan. Okay, um, enough questions. We need to decide what to do. The king is dead. And we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. Okay. Well, it seems like you have a little choice. No, this is a mistake. You're going to get yourself killed, especially if you're going by I yourself. I cannot let Isol return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. Okay. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. <coughs> Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Okay. Here's what I propose. Sure. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I say you're going to die. Um, what exactly am I supposed to do in there? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. I wonder what would happen if I don't go. Okay. Uh, I don't believe that. I will rescue you all, I promise. I mean, that's a big promise to make. It really is. Um, we must end this evil no matter what. Greater evils have been loosed on the world. But I will not argue with you. Yes. All right. I'm sorry. So I'm just saying. Just going to stand my with that woman. Mic. It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Thank you. We're gonna need it. Pretty sure we are. I mean, hmm. Should I go back to the camp and then come back? Because I feel like I want another. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to like quickly run to the camp. Can I can I do that? Yeah, I feel like I want um, I don't even know if I needed to go to the camp. I have been studying mother's grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? Okay, that wasn't expected, but sure we're here if you must. Um, sure. What'd you find? Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands, but this is not it. Yet you look disturbed. Disturbed? Yes, perhaps that is the right word. One thing in particular within her writings disturbs me. Here, in great detail, 
Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. Oh, do tell. A spell of immortality? Oh, if only it were so. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout chastened legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And okay. now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter, and when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Um... So why would she risk sending you with me? I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said, the Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else, or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. Both According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. Hmm. Are you certain about this? Indeed. That is primarily what this tome details. The various daughters that Flemeth has acquired. Their preparation and training. Okay. I recognize all of it. I... And to be her next host. This is my purpose. That really sucks. Um, okay. Uh, what do you t intend to do about it? Yeah. There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. I mean... I... All right. Um... Hmm. Okay, very well. I'll help her. I mean, yeah, I'll help her. Sure. Okay, my six button is working. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. If I am present when she is slain, I cannot be certain that she will not be able to possess my body right then. So I must remain at the camp, confront her, and slay her quickly. I doubt she would truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. Um, hmm. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Oops. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. All right, so my intention actually was to come back and grab Morgan, but, you know, we had that little cutscene. Um, I will talk to you later. So let's head back. Um, I want to change my party. I want to grab Alistair. Yes. I need a healer. Yes. I'm going to not grab Stim right now, but I will definitely use him later. Um, yeah, so let's Indeed. grab Morgan. And let's head back to Redcliffe. Yeah, we'll have to go to Village. Okay, so we are back here in the castle. I'm thinking that we got everything. Yes. Uh, oh, <laughs> I was like, the door, it's not opening. Can we... Wait a minute. Okay, can we... We're keeping watch should the monsters come again. I don't think they will, but we've no way to be sure. Okay, uh... I've never actually left the camp and come back, so this is new. I don't think I can go through here. What? Okay. I am so thoroughly confused. Can I... Oh, I have to go this way. Wow. There's Sir Perth. Can I talk to Sir Perth? Let's just go in. No need. Can I? You can get off my back. Sure. Oh. I'll get on it. Oh, you know what? Um. Shoot. What is my inventory looking like? Yeah, let me go back. I hate to do this. Um. I just keep delaying our little adventure into the castle but I definitely need to 
get rid of some things out of my bags. Otherwise, I won't be able to loot because I don't have much space left. Yeah. So let's go up here and hopefully um, the owner is still alive or somebody. There we go. All right, sweet. She's still alive. Hello. I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. Yeah, but everyone else in the village is dead. Just completely. Um, yeah. Oh, that's right. I believe I made you a promise. You mean about helping me leave? I... I wouldn't hold you to that. You've already done so much for us. No, promises must be kept. You could do better than this place. Nonsense, I want to help. Yeah, I mean... What do you have in mind? Ooh, a hundred sil- five hundred silver. Ooh, that's a lot. Um, yeah, I don't have five hundred silver. How about a hundred? That's kind of you to offer, but I'd probably just end up broke somewhere else. Oh, jeez, are you serious? All right, five hundred silver. What? You jest, surely. Why not simply throw all our coin into the river? Uh, I don't see you picking up any coin. I'm doing all the looting. It's my coin. Okay, we can aff we can we really afford this much? I ugh. Yeah. Oh, have it your way then. She is not gonna well, like that. I could that. get me to Denerim. What would you want in return for such a gift? Some free stuff. I mean, a promise not to work in a place like this. Your thanks is enough. If I'm giving you 500 silver, you better not be working in a tavern when I see you again. Thank you. I, I can never repay this, but I'll think of a way. I swear. Ugh. I mean, I got everyone else's approval except for Morgan. Uh. If it isn't the hero of the day, what can I get you? How about 500 silver? I'll see what you have. Right. I've got some supplies, too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? Sure. Oh, we are so broke. So broke. Oh, man. Okay, let's get rid of some stuff. And, yeah. Oh, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, wait, I need to keep that. I don't need that. Okay, so let's get rid of these daggers. Um, yeah, that too. I'm pretty sure that's all we have that we can get rid of. Um, yeah, that's it, peeps. I could use some more. Um, oh, that's all? I could use some elf root. I think I can I'm so broke alright I'm buying that and I need a few flasks so let's let's take about 10 and um, I think I can make I think one of y'all can make a couple flasks lesser Hell poultices. That's it. Okay, he didn't have any of that. Whatever. It's something. I think we can pick some up in the castle. We just really don't have a lot of gold left. All right. Got let's, it. Let's head out. Because we've taken too much time. We've delayed. And I want to get into the castle. I did say that I felt like the mage's quest was probably the longest one, but I'm, I might take that back. I think this one by far is probably one of the longer quest lines. Oops. Then, uh, the mages. Okay. So let's go back in for real this time. And yeah, this is it. Got it. Head into the dungeons. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Okay. 
I locked myself in a cage once when I was a child. For an entire day. Ah, good times. Okay. That was super random, Alistair. Get away from me! Let's go. You have no skill, only desperation. I'm sorry. Am I too quick for you? Hello? Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Hello. Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Because we're not. Are you from outside the castle? Indeed. Um, yeah, I'm not going to tell him that. Uh, possibly. Who are you supposed to be? My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they uh, threw me into the dungeon here. Mm. You're the one that poisoned the Arl, aren't you? I'm not proud of it. The Alessa had no idea what I was hired to do when she took me in to tutor Connor. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. Hmm. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... Had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Hmm. Why did you poil the Arl? I was poil? instructed to by <laughs> Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malificar. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage. Well, that isn't good. Great. Ah, I thought you looked familiar. I had thought you dead, hunted down by the Templars. I guess you might have been told that. I was in hiding when I was caught. But instead of killing me, Loghain made me an offer. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. Okay, so... Why did the Ar Arlesa need a mage to tutor her son? Let's, let's ask that because I'm curious. Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor, a mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Hmm. Okay, well, I know why her son would be afraid, but, you know, for the sake of the audience, why would Esau be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. Mm. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. I see. I think I understand. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. Hmm. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. Jowen has good intentions, but a blood mage? I... I find it difficult to trust his words. I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. Huh. What a conundrum. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. All right. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> 